It's loud about every 15 seconds, like my Uncle Ernie. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threeput is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threeboot has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Honor and dignity? The queenship is not an a la carte position. Okay, sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? C can I ask about the obey part? I mean, if I'm queen... The queen is also a citizen. Uh, how many of these vows are there? Not many. Fine, I'll do it. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? This is starting to sound like a trap. It's just standard contractual language. Uh, when do we get to the part with the crown? Once you have completed your vows as queen and not before. Okay, I guess I'm in. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? if Odina stays queen and I just claim the crown? The crown is the property of the queen. Nice try. Is there a flex time option? I have other commitments. You may sleep between the hours of 11 and 4. Oh, all right. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I'm off <laughs> to write my memoirs. <laughs> Um, as your queen, I've decided to abolish the monarchy in favor of total anarchy. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Report! Alive? How 
is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the keys. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. I long for the day that our roles are reversed, and it's your head stuck on the bow of the ship. I long for the day that it's technically illegal to do piracy without a flag. Hi. Hey, boy. Got a warning for you. A warning? You're in danger. Stocky little ghost lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, any idea where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. I know when I'm beat. I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. Are you okay? Only my spirit is crushed. Rest of me will heal. I've got two golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Remind me again what you know about where the golden keys might be? Well, the mean little ghost lady got mine. Old Mrs. Smith had one. Uh, I guess she'll have willed it to someone in her estate. There's the one Bella Fisher had. Must be at the bottom of the ocean now. One somewhere on Bird. Bermuda. And one on Terror Island. Not much chance to collect them all, so it seems. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your key. I hope your luck is better. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Has Iron Rose been back to the ship? She did come back for a bit, yeah. She was in a hurry, went below decks, then came right back up and left again. Very interesting. Finished the new book yet? No. As far as I can tell, it has no end. Some stories are better off that way. It's fantastic. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Stop overfeeding Molly, you rotten clods.
things get more sophisticated every year. And I wouldn't want to wake him up. I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. Chained to my ship. This is really deep. I've already been diving for. F I've got to turn. Hey, LeChuck, we're over here! <laughs> Hello! again about Bella Fisher's fishing spot? Three clues they say she left behind as to where it was. But no one knows what sort of clues they'd be. All rumors, of course. Probably nothing to it. Hmm. How's it going, chums? Yes, yes, that's very clever. Do we have any special privileges for being high-ranking chums? Not even the respect of your peers, my boy. Just the use of any property that belongs to the society. Aha! Well, they look great, but I don't have a wheelbarrow. Hey, Guybrush! It's been reduced to rubble. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Where did you say Stan is? They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. Hi there. Hello. Hello again. Can I get another key mate? Sure.
Now that I'm queen, I'm having the castle deep cleaned with plenty of boiling hot water. That should do it. Now that I'm queen, I'm having the castle deep cleaned. Nice dump. It's a sculpture of yours truly. My jawline has never looked so chiseled. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? The Queen of Bermuda is always allowed to approach the bench. I have no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! Toasty. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? The Queen of Bermuda is o I have no b Court is adjourned. It's a sculpture of yours truly. I'm staying far away from this. Uh, hello, loyal subject. Uh, hello, loyal subject. <laughs> I have the feeling someone here didn't appreciate my coronation. I already won this contest, and it wasn't pretty. It's loud about every 15 seconds. Like my uncle, I could do this professionally. I mean, I guess this is algebra? I actually have no idea. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. Okay, it's lit. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. The Pit of Agony lies ahead. 
it looks really deep. It's already lit. I'm sure there are plenty. It looks okay. Here goes. Oh no, the lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Water fire. Help! Help me! How am I going to get out of here? It's dark in here! No luck lighting a match underwater. This is the point where Elaine usually rescues me. It won't light underwater. It's the pirate's life for me. It's too dark to see anything. Elaine! It's too dark to see any Anytime now. It's too- How am I gonna get out of here? dark to help me it's too dark to see anything I probably shouldn't be talking while holding my breath it's the pirate's life for me it's too dark to see anything life for me. It's the pirate's life for me. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. That was a close one. I'll have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. Nice upgrade for eating alfresco. It doesn't look finished. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Stop messing with my spell! Just need to get all five keys. No! Ugh. 
this is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? Uh, I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck. Obviously. These maps were Wally's life's work. Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plundering. Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plunder. Free's even better than half off. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. I'll Looks like he had the wrong person. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Just a dead end. Sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Putra keeps a hot fire going here. Okay, it's lit. The flame looks good. It's chained to my ship. I'm guessing my lamp won't be lit anymore after this. I This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. I long for the day that our roles are reversed, and it's your head stuck on the... This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon fire. It's lit with demon fire! It looks really deep. Okay, here goes. I don't think I'll get too close. It probably tastes delicious. I don't think I'll get too close. 
They probably taste delicious. Looking at these ribs is making me hungry. Yeah, somebody forgot their bones. It says, warning. It's a long way. Oh! Oh! Oh. Lucky thing you landed on my bed. Herman Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. Names do funny things when you're not using them. How have you been? Meh. Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah! Whew, you're right. Yeah, that feels good. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. It's a golden key. That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. Just give me the key already. Ow! Give me the key! Ow! Oops. I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. It's too dark to see anything. It's too dark to see anything. Want to hear a quote? Reginald unfurled the perfumed missive and slid his eyes along it. So, Herman. Uh, any ideas? I was hoping you'd have one. So, Herman. I'm sorry. Can I have my key back? No. My sweetest lily pad, Reginald Hart, 
Won't you come on down to my brigantine? Throwing her hand to her head, Cornelia replied, Alas, you know I cannot leave my station. Reginald swooped and sw So, Herman. I'm sorry. Can I have my key back? No. Cornelia's betrothed was a vile, vicious, and reviled little lord of the moniker Laszlo Sh X Y Z Z Y. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. Are we lying in wait or just waiting? It's chained to my ship. It's chained to my ship. We shouldn't linger too long, given the number of leaks this ship undoubtedly still has. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. I'm not even mortal, and I'm feeling the minutes tick away. Gross. Looks like day-old avocado soup. Not done with my drink. Oh, what a great patch of ocean this is. So full. That was refreshing. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. This is the worst job in the world. Are we lying in wait or just waiting? This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. My lungs are full of delicious air again.
I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. It's not my fault. They shouldn't have stuck the key in there so hard. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain.
This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. We shouldn't linger too long, given the number of leaks this ship undoubtedly... Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Hi. Hey, boy. Remind me who took your key? Some stocky little ghost pirate lady. I didn't recognize her. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. need a lot of keys to open that.
It's chained to my ship. Someday, all this will be mine. And it will burn. This is the worst job in the world. not a good time to attract attention. Reminder to all crew. Extinguish demon fire with the proper... Stop overfeeding Molly, you rot... These open plan offices are all the rage now. Importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? Unexpected, but welcome. Yikes. Excellent. Yikes. Yikes. I think that only works on live chickens. what it's made out of. Not done with my drink. This must be Whitey's stolen key. That's the last key. Voodoo shop, here I come.
Reapwood has all the keys? That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can't say the same for you, however. Ah, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. I'm not leaving again without the secret of Monkey Island. Whoops, I walked right by it. The secret's back there in the voodoo shop. I've got all the keys. I'm not leaving without the secret. than I imagined, but still beautiful. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Well, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. This is not a problem. I choose to see it as a puzzle. Three points! Uh -huh. LeChuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated.
underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you alright? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret. And he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. Whatever. That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. You know what they say about omelettes and eggs. Well, I haven't seen the omelette yet. Just a lot of eggs. The omelette is the secret of Monkey Island. And I don't know that I'd say lots of eggs. A few eggs. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. It took way more than five minutes. I had to win a bunch of contests first. Yes, Odina told me your joke. Bernie! Quite funny. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. It wasn't poison. It was just hot pepper. She was fine an hour later. I did have to convince her not to file suit. You owe me one. I appreciate that. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. But I was talking about breaking eggs. There's been some slight collateral damage to the environment. The mop tree! It was the last one left on Melee Island. And I have it on good authority that you had something to do with the earthquake as well. But the earthquake was Captain Lila's fault. Nobody warned me it would happen. In retrospect, that was probably part of their plan. I can't always predict how these things will turn out. Clearly not. Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. Yeah, it wasn't a very good museum anyway. The guy doesn't get his facts right. Conrad Lee is a nice young man who tries hard he'll land on his feet. I hear he's going to open a training school for attack parrots. Well, I hope he doesn't hold a grudge. Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. He was already in the dark cave when I found him. So, to be fair, no net impact overall. Except for the key. True, but he wasn't really using it. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find?
I have no idea. That's why it's so important that I find it. Well, be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? I remember them. Full of lava and tiny ledges. It's a good thing you're wearing your adventure boots. Hope you also brought your adventure sword. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. Elaine's buying me time by taking care of Flair. I should use it wisely. Hey, Wally. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Eh, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. Yeah, real head scratcher how that happened. Thanks for the C-map. That was really great and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. That mop map you made for me was a winner. Oh yeah, that's right. I did make you a mop map. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. Why is it that every time our paths cross, good old Wally is kidnapped or tormented or worse? The mysteries of how the universe works may never be known. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me... Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure. Run off. Wally will be fine. I'll need a key to open these. It's a bit late in the game for that. This key doesn't fit. This key doesn't fit. Flambe, you're awake. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Correct. I want to be there before he opens it. Ugh, you two deserve each other. Yeah, that's right. Run! I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Okay, here goes. Phew. LeChuck, I'm coming for you! Damn you, Threepwood! I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. I wonder if the parrot had anything to do with the eye. I wonder if the parrot had anything to do with the eye. 
It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. I wonder if the parrot had anything to do with the eye. I can relate. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. I can relate. I'm naming it Captain Squint. It looks proud to be a monkey. It's holding a mug. It's holding a mug. I wonder if the parrot had anything to do with the eye. Yep, it's made of stone. I can relate. I'm naming it Captain Squint. It's holding a monocle. Lechuk, the secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate street wood. The secret will never be yours. Huh? Street wood, won't you ever give up and just go home? Once is a coincidence, twice is suspicious. Only the observant pirate will pass. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own.
Well, I've only got one coin left. Chuck, the secret is mine! You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No! I will return! The secret is mine! Third time be a charm, three weed! <laughs> Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. There's no way I'm getting through there. There's no way I'm getting through there. It looks like its arm is hurt. It looks like its arm is hurt. It looks like its leg is hurt. This is going to be a problem. There's no way I'm getting through there. This is going to be a problem. There's no way I'm getting through there. There's a will, there's a way. It's leaking some kind of oil all over the floor now. Long, Captain.
like one of those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies, the detectives don't know where to start. any more possible escape routes. any more possible escape routes. stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea. any more possible escape routes. Huh? What? I was just deep in the mushroom and lava-ridden caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh no. Not yet. Employees only. It seems to be stuck closed. The windows are just pasted on, and they're not even straight. 
High Street, 20 feet. Hall of Pirates, three minute walk. Additional restrooms at Dinky Island. Score, free popcorn. Score, free popcorn. High Street, 20 feet. Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Elaine, thank goodness you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. Have you done something new with your hair? It got ruffled in the fight. I like it. I'm gonna look around some more. Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. The switch is locked. The switch is locked. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. What a stroke of luck. The locksmith had the key all along. What a stroke of luck. The locksmith had the key all along. Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine. Dang, Stan makes the Chuck better every time. The secret is mine. Each time I come here, Stan really ups the challenge. But it's still LeChuck 0, Guybrush Threepwood 6. The secret is mine! Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, I should have suspected Stan's involvement the minute I saw how cheap and gaudy this is. Dang nabbit, it's locked! If only there was a key. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. It's empty. The switch is locked. I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. The switch is locked. You finally did it! I hope it was worth it. I'm gonna have to think about that. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too.
Dad, that was a silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. Oh, I wasn't making anything up. That was what really happened. Mom, Dad won't tell me what the secret is. Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there.
Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's... Ever since I was a kid, I wanted... We wound up... Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure... One time, Elaine got turned... Oh, man. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's... Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. These are from the time I found the secret of Monkey Island. I started my voyage at the Scum Bar, but right away I could tell it wasn't going to be like old times. The new pirate leaders were focused on sacking and pillaging, but plunder stats aren't everything. In some quarters, my reputation was a disadvantage. I learned more than I ever wanted to know about mops. I learned more. I made the unusual decision to join LeChuck's crew as a way to get to Monkey Island. Serving on LeChuck's ship was an interesting experience. I grew to like the crew. I forgot all about looking like a zombie and starting a mutiny and seizing the ship. Gullet was my supervisor. Not a very pleasant guy. My disguise held up great, right up until we were nearing Monkey Island, when it, um, well, there was a failure. Putra was really happy when I got her promoted to chef. I got thrown off the ship, but that was okay. I'd gotten as far as I needed to. The actual return to Monkey Island was not what I expected. We all thought the secret would be on the island somewhere. Everybody had a map, some more useful than others. Elaine and I rebuilt my old ship, the Sea Monkey, so we could sail back to Melee. I learned some deeply personal things about my nemesis, LeChuck. The temporary pact I made with my enemies turned out to be about five minutes more temporary than I had hoped. It was a race to get to the secret first. I hunted down all five golden keys. I wonder if I was supposed to keep these. LeChuck teamed up with Madison, but that was never going to last. Madison was scheming to betray LeChuck. Lila was scheming to betray Madison and LeChuck. I'm not sure Trent ever thought very far ahead. Whitey Bones told me all about the Golden Keys. Elaine had a lot on her plate, but she was with me in the end. Carla handled earthquake relief as best she could under the circumstances. I broke Stan out of prison. Wally was kidnapped. The voodoo lady disappeared. I unseated the reigning queen to become the last queen of Bermuda. I visited Herman Toothrot in his cozy hermit cave. We chased LeChuck back to Monkey Island again, and I tracked him down. Elaine held off Flare Gory while I went into the monkey. I made this mock-up of the final puzzle. I think it's pretty neat. Someone had devised a series of themed pirate monkey puzzles to keep out the unworthy. I made this mock-up of the final puzzle. I found Wally! I found Wally! Wait, what's this?
chase the chuck back to Monkey Island. Thank you.